Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I wanted to talk about, um, for today, i try trying to keep it short, uh, the idea of fashion, styles, and trends. You know, um, this has been uh, bothering me for a while. I kind of feel like, you know, uh, there's no truth to fashion, fashions and styles. The reason why is because there's no meaning to it. Fashion and styles, all they are, are trends. Every era, every new year, every decade, there's something different. You know, truth is continuous. Truth doesn't have any changes to it. Truth is, truth just keeps going and going, going and going and going. You know, and uh, and truth is positivity. You know, in science, truth always changes. Whatever people think. Um, uh, certain occurrences are mathematics or whatever things always change because something else new comes but it always leads toward a positive change you know but with fashion and style there is no meaning to it there is no continuity to it you know um, we as individuals you know we've been following these fashion designers and these uh, hairstylists and these other idiots these normal ordinary people that like can't even handle their own personal problems can't even fix their own personal um, individual life problems you know f with uh, with their partners or with family members their own life is in shambles their own life is in shambles as much as ours is they have the audacity to tell the normal public you need to wear this in order to feel important. You need to have this hairstyle in order to feel significant. You know, these people have the audacity. These ordinary simple people that can't even handle their own selves have the audacity to clumsily tell us people that people that see through them in this era, everybody is seen through. You know, we see through right right through them. But yet we still follow these trends and styles. These clothing styles, these hairstyles, you know, um, the way to act, you know, like social, social changes, you know, like, uh, you know, not to speak too negative, but like back in the late 20th century, everybody was get gearing toward hip hop. Everyone in the early millennia in, in the noughties, everybody was uh, acting hip hop and dressing hip hop and having mannerisms and their speech was hip hop and ghetto and all that. And now everybody is going toward a more homosexual kind of stylistic mannerisms and, and things like that you know the only real true movement was the african-american movement that's the real only true movement the homosexual movement there's it, 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 there's too many skeletons in the closet in the lgbt community there's too many secrets and there's too many um um corrupt um uh, games being played behind the curtains in Congress to get these laws passed and all this stuff. You know, I, I myself do not wish anything bad on any human being, but the these people that are involved with this stuff, they're doing it the wrong way. They're forcefully pushing in the in, in the mind mindset of the society of in young people and and everybody in the U.S. or the world or whatever to like be like them now uh, to go back because this is all connected this is uh, to go back to fashion fashion is all uh, it's all frivolous because it's trends because it changes because people want to find new things why because they themselves are unhealthy we want to look for new things because we as individuals, if you're searching for new things, ignorantly looking for new things, you are unhealthy emotionally, you are unhealthy spiritually, you are, you are unhealthy um, individually. When you look at nature, when you look at nature, nature always has a continuousness. The trends and the, and the, and the seasons change, but they're, but they're consistent and we can see them coming. There's always fall, and there's always winter, and there's always summer. 
we have to accept that reality is what it is and that looking for new things is a it is actually the sign of selfishness trying to experiment with things and trying to create things that may harm you or society or or, or divert you from inner peace or inner um inter um inner enlightenment as an individual and to pass that along to your fellow man and your neighbors and just in your society you know truth is something that's real and is continuous whether we like it or not truth is boring quote unquote boring truth is normality truth is consistency we need to accept consistency we need to accept the boredom of our reality we need to accept the normality we need to accept the constant um we need to accept reality as it is we need to accept the boredom and the nothingness the quote-unquote nothingness that we see as nothingness the boredom and nothingness and the quietness of our life and to accept it instead of having to look unhealthily for new things and trying to dictate to people how they should be and that's what fashions is and also too um, people say that in this day and age anything goes it's 2015 you could do anything you want to do hairstyles or whatever well yeah if you're famous people will uh, congratulate you on taking a uh, taking and taking a hairstyle and taking it to another edge or wearing you know boxers and and a, and a muscle shirt out in the red carpet to your premiere oh that's new fashion you know whatever the hell they do when you're famous it matters when you're no a person it doesn't matter fashion and style does not make a goddamn difference when you're a mono person when we look back on it yes but at the time period we were very unhealth unhealthy and unhappy weren't we you know because we're trying to chase a certain look so that we can fit in we're trying to chase something when all of the contentment and the peace is within your own self not having to to separate yourself in order to please others or society and to and to put yourself in harm's way emotionally so that you cannot dwell positively dwell within yourself and find enlightenment and find the truth consistent truth of self you know and and, and also the thing before this long gets, this video gets too long is that uh in society a lot of people even though this even though this era anything goes or whatever for fashion or style people are still going to dictate and uh, be snobby and be um, judgmental and criticizing of what people wear still oh you can't wear um you know uh well, you can't wear brown brown pants uh you can't wear khaki pants to like a uh, uh you know to a uh, a rave concert or you, you you know you know you can't uh you can't wear sunglasses at night or you can't you know what are you doing with those uh, ridiculous shorts outside or whatever you know or you can't do this or do that people are still going to do that because because those individuals that are judging you and what you do, they're also being judged by other people and it keeps going. It's a domino effect of negativity. Everyone's judging everyone passively, passive aggressively. And and the reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to we're trying to uh, we're trying to believe in what we're in. We're trying to find structure, we're trying to find order and be like, no, no, you can't do that, you can't wear that. It's kinda like it's kinda like um the way that we live now is very similar to this example. Uh, imagine um, a person, an uptight person, you know, a snobby, uptight individual. This does example. It's outlandish, but just bear with me. There's a snobby, uptight individual wearing a suit. He's like a classic 1950s suit kind of wearing kind of guy with the uh, penny loafers and all that. Imagine him living in a house full of clowns, a big, colorful house full of polka dots and stripes on the floor, as wacky as he can possibly think it. And this guy is living in the in the thick of it, in the eye of the storm of that insanity, and he has the audacity to tell a clown, no, 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 you can't wear that big old pink polka dot um, um, bow tie. Wear this, wear this fuzzy, um, squ uh, fuzzy squares hanging off of it, um, polka dot pink um, uh, stickers with Obama on it. Wear this, wear this bow tie with Obama on it yeah we're this bigger one yours was too small this is much more bigger you know he's trying to like that guy living the ins and living in that is trying to it's like it, it it's insanity first of all you're living in the in, in 
in in the in, in the thick of it of this craziness and you're trying to trying to act as though you're trying to find order when you're living with the people that are disordered you're trying to find order by giving advice to someone that's disordered but your advice is also disorder it's disorder trying to replace disorder to fix disorder you know what i'm saying and and like that's the insanity is that you, you know you're trying to fix you're trying to fix something that you just cannot grasp you're trying to fix something that you just cannot control you just might as well just walk the hell out of that damn clown house and just be on your own because you'll find yourself you know trying that's exactly it we're living in the insane era where we're trying to replace something that's disorder in order to fix something that is disorder that is in disorder trying to replace something that's disorderly with some with an idea that's also disorderly to fix it you know and and, and it's like it's like we're not going anywhere man it's the insanity of, of everything, politics, governments, social problems. We just have to step away and not follow and just follow the truth. Follow the truth. You know, like, yeah, look nice. Buy some jeans. Get a nice haircut. Feel good about yourself, but don't get too caught up in the mix of this superficialness, you know, of what society is trying to present to us. Because, first of all, they're trying to act like, yeah, there's no order. Uh, there's no rules, man. You can do whatever you want. But you can't do this. Oh, oh no no. Oh, but you can't do that. You can do whatever you want. But no no you know, no no no. Don't don't wear those shoes. You could do whatever you want. No no no. Don't get that haircut. No, it's not gonna work. You could do whatever you want, but you can't do these specific things. Well, then what the hell is going on then? They don't know what the hell they're doing. We're just all caught up in this uh, crazy ass mix, and we need to step away and find ourselves. Find the truth. Truth is continuous. Truth is not a trend. Truth does not change. Truth is continuous and it goes forward forever. Fashion and style is not truth. It has no meaning because it constantly is changing as trends change. And these idiots, they don't know what they're doing. You need to look somewhere else. Thank you, Rich Sisbens.